In our next session, I'd like to introduce Pete Davies, Jen Brown and Andrew McLeod. So a question for the gentleman. Starting with Pete, how do rural general practitioners view alliancing? Um, for, from what I've seen today, it seems like it's a, a basically a toolbox or a new toolbox um, for us to use. Um, but really a way, a different way to approach the day-to-day -day business of general practice. And although from our point of view we've heard a lot of jargon and it's, it seems quite complicated for us at the, at the sort of clinical end, it seems like there's a lot of processes that we're going to have to get familiar with um, to take advantage. Yeah. Uh, alliancing for me seems like an opportunity to validate what we've been doing and to demonstrate the skills that we have in general practice and the wider general practice team and to provide services in the community that um, are valued both by the DHB, by the hospital clinicians and to, uh, to demonstrate to ourselves just the quality of the service that we can provide in the country. Cool. Jen, what does this season and alliance look like to you? Um, I think success in an alliance team is a team that's really um, got high trust, is working well together and sharing information. I think for me that's going to be the key thing is, you know, for, for the first time we're involving people from all corners of the health system and the strength of that is that we can all bring our viewpoints and our experience which is going to mean at the end of the day good decisions are made. So success for me would be everybody being able to contribute those opinions and ideas mm -hmm. to get to a good outcome. Mm -hmm. Success for you? Success, um, the, the appropriate people doing the appropriate job, everybody mm -hmm. working sure. at high end in their scope, um, being fulfilled and satisfied with what they're doing and feeling that you're having an influence on the future health uh, shape of future health um, services in, in our regions. Mm. Success for you. I, I suppose it'd be nice when I describe what I do to people instead of saying I do this and I don't mind this, this and this or I do this <laughs> despite <laughs> this, this and this, I'd be able to say I'm really lucky I do general practice and we have all this. So yeah. it'll help to, to change some of the negatives around like the on-call and some of the isolation. So. Sure. So why do you think rural general practices should get involved in alliancing? Because um, I think we're uniquely placed to help the people in our communities because we're, we're, we're there with them and often the people that work in our practices know these people really well, sometimes they've grown up with them. And so we're the best people to be able to, to over, have an overall picture of the needs in, in the community. So you know, we really need to be doing that and, and improving the, the services they're getting. Mm. So for general practices, why should they get involved? Rural general practice can serve as a model for uh, quality urban practice as well. I think that we need to look uh, at ourselves as being a potential um, resource for all of general practice and showing just how much teams work better than individuals on their own. And as a matter of need in the country, we have to be very inclusive with the pharmacist, the, the volunteer ambulance officer mm, mm. The, all, and all members that are employed in our groups and uh, that doesn't just have to stop 30 kilometres from the main centre. Yeah, for sure. Jen, for you, with the rural gen practices you work with, why do you think they um, should be involved? I, I agree with what's been said and I think that um, you know, general practice operates in a community, they know their community they know the services and the networks and, and how the system works at a coalface and, and, and this is the opportunity to bring that knowledge into decision making about health planning and health funding mm. and I think that's a, um, it's a great opportunity to have the people that know involved. Yeah, mm. for sure. So in one word, describe how you feel about rural alliancing and why. Uh, I feel optimistic. And why is that? Um, because I think it's, it is a genuine change in the way that decisions are made. And sure, there's a lot of water to go under the bridge. Mm. Um, but with the people that I've seen involved in the process, I think there's an enormous will to make it work and make it happen. Mm. Sure. One word and why? I've got a big fluorescent reset. Um, I think general practice has been 
harried and bullied and allowed itself to become extremely cynical about um, the process of uh, engagement with DHBs. Uh, I, I'd really like to think that this is a, truly an opportunity for us to recognise that we have something to offer and to know that we're being listened to. Fantastic. Um, well, I, I feel hopeful. Uh, there's lots of people here today who are a lot cleverer than me and they all think it's going to work, so I'm going to be hopeful. <laughs> Thank you, the three of you. Thank you.